there ever a time in our lives when we did not look at other people who weren't like us through the lens of suspicion or judgment? So you would be able to tell within about an hour or two which organizations were adaptable and which weren't. But there will be some people who are very different and their instruction manuals are going to be thick. Human beings are an open loop system. An open loop system. What that means is that parts of our brain, and I'm a huge fan of brain science by the way, parts of our brain are designed to do nothing more than cue in to the attitudes and intentions of other people around us. We all have behaviors that make us feel disrespected. Here were some of them that I captured online. Being cut off mid-sentence, being discounted, being ignored, being belittled, being blamed. We are much more likely to raise our hands and share an idea, even if I'm not 100% convinced it's a great idea yet, if I feel safe to do so. But imagine going home at the end of the day to your significant other, a partner, or even a friend out afterwards, and they say, hey, how was, how was work today? And he's it was fantastic. Oh man, I just, I just love the people I work with. Every day I feel so tolerated. <laughs> Do you think you might get a strange look? <laughs> Psychologically unsafe workplaces are just like being in an abusive relationship. As HR professionals, it is your job to root them out and get rid of them because they make us physically sick. It leads to deep degrading of our cardiovascular system, the accumulation that causes scar tissue in our circulatory system, which then starts attracting plaque. But most problematic is what it does in our brains. Continual exposure to being in that stressful environment by being treated poorly actually leads to the, we call the demyelinization of our synaptic pathways. Your brain starts to lose its ability to work. We start losing, slowing down access to memory, ability to make decisions. And after about three months in a place like that, you actually start killing brain cells. How many of you have ever left a place because of the way you're treated? 